Hey everyone, this is Nanan, and I'll be taking a look at the LEGO Minecraft set that LEGO has sent me to review. So let's take a look at the box first. It's um, cube shaped like a Minecraft block. And by the way, I don't play Minecraft, so this review will be purely from a builder's perspective. Um, on the side, it's got more the uh, details of the set, and on the back, there's a little advertisement for LEGO Crusoe, which is where the set originated. If you don't know about LEGO Crusoe, it's where you can submit your ideas and then if you get 10,000 supporters and LEGO will review it and give you a shot at producing the set. So let's go ahead and open the box first. Okay, looks like we have... Oh, it's a message from Tim. How nice. All right, um, let's see. So the instruction manuals are here and all the parts are packaged in the boxes and it looks like you do get a Lego separator which seems to be pretty standard nowadays when you buy like a medium to a large set they come with a Lego separator. So two instruction booklets and let's take a look at the parts first because that's what I'm most interested in. So a lot of people have noticed that this set has a ton of green tiles which is nice. Lots of small pieces. Some basic bricks here. Let's see, nothing too new. You can get those easily from Bricklink in bulk. And let's see what this bag has. Um, a few tiles, some of these pieces, which have been making their appearances in newer sets. Again, nothing too interesting. So basically this is more of a parts pack in my opinion. Um, for the Minecraft fans, for anyone who wants to build it, then I think it'll make a good display, a display piece as well. So more small parts. Again, I don't see any new bricks in here. So here are the base plates that the model is going to be built on. Again, the largest is a 6x6. And the last bag, we have, I think, let's see. So, supposedly they have the, the micro figures in here. I wonder if they're printed or not. Let's take a look at the instruction manual here. Book one. Let's see, so just so the whole vignette is composed of four smaller vignettes and you have this work your way up, pretty standard. Trying to find to the part where the micro fix are, I kind of want to see if they're printed or not, or they're stickers. Nope. Okay, so here we are. So the micro figs, let's see. Supposedly the monster, the zombie guy, whatever. Yeah, there we go. So, so you can see it's a printed face. And I'll assume that the other guy, terrible with these characters' names. What are they called? Steve and Creeper, there we go. So Steve has printed face as well. And then let me find them. There we go. All right, looks nice. So now I'm going to start building the set and you probably don't want to sit through this so I'll just fast forward to win the Okay, set. so here's what the set looks like finished. Um, while building this set, I do want to point out a few things. So starting with the instruction manual, on um, the first page it has a little description about Minecraft and Lego Crusoe. And it kind of gives a shout out to the builders who designed this, well not designed it, but submitted their ideas and the concept art. And you can see two of the images printed on the first page. So that's a pretty nice feature that I included. And um, the back of the instruction book is the uh, parts list, which you can pause the video to take a look if you're interested. And so here's the model. So you have the two micro figs and everything here. So everything, this big thing yet is just a uh, modular section of four smaller vignettes that you can open the tops off and then separate these apart. Pretty much you can just like mix and match and combine them whichever way you like. And um, these Technic axles, you can put them anywhere and then just make your own thing essentially. Um, 
just in terms of details, let's see. It's fairly standard, um, basic bricks, basic plates. This whole model has a lot of um, redundant use of tiles and plates, which I'm not complaining because it does create a nice texture that kind of mirrors what the game would look like. And also it increases the parts count, which is always a good thing to have. So let's see, I forgot how it all goes back together. So I'm just gonna put it in some random way here. Again, you can just mix and match, put any of these tops and bottoms together and you have a uh, somewhat new thing essentially. So my conclusion about this set, um, I think essentially it's, it, it reminds me of the architecture series where you're buying the set not really for the parts, but for like a model that you can display. And with Lego Minecraft, I think that's what the designers had in mind. You know, this is something that's cool to put around on your desk, you know, if you're a Minecraft fan especially. And even, you know, if you're a builder and you want some pieces, it's got some uh, neat parts. I mean, nothing too new, but you got some tiles and plates that you can use in your models, especially if you're into landscaping and whatnot. Um, one thing I did notice is that there's a ton of extra pieces. All these were extra pieces that were left over at the end of the model, and I made sure kind of flip through the instruction book to see if I miss anything because this is unnatural for a set. Usually you get like, you know, one of the tiles, one of the plates, you know, that's it. And it even has an extra Steve's face, which, you know, it's useful because if you, I think for space builders, if you're just using this part, it's a nice decoration on your ship. And then since you have two, it makes for a nice symmetrical build. Okay, so Let's see, one more thing that I noticed was that the model will fit nicely into the box. So you can transport it if you so wish to. Um, speaking of which, let us know in the comments what you think about the set or the review or the video or whatever. And um, I'll randomly pick someone and send this model to you. And um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment as well, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks.